Hey everyone, Vito from More Beer here on this Friday the 13th edition of Free Beer Friday. Uh, it's just me this week. Uh, last week was the Craft Beer Conference, uh, CBC, and Chris had a little too much fun, so he's out this week. So you guys just got me. So in the comments, let's let Chris know to get well soon. Tell him why you want him back so you're not stuck with me. All right, so let's get into the kit of the week. Every week we give away a kit. This week we're gonna be giving away Simon's Galaxies, which is an Australian sparkling ale. Uh, to tell you a little bit, it's actually a recipe I designed myself. Um, in 2015, Australian sparkling ale was added to the BJCP style guidelines. In 2017, I was the first person to ever win a medal with that style um, at, at the um, uh, homebrewers, National Homebrewers Competition. Um, so that was really cool. And then when I opened a brewery, actually that was one of the recipes that we, we brewed there. And I did a cross uh, continental collaboration with Peter Simons, who's the guy who actually wrote the book on Australian sparkling ales and that, all, that beer styles in Australia. So check that kit out. It's an awesome kit. It's a, a pale ale, which is my favorite style. Galaxy hops, uh, so you know, super fruity. The, the, just, just a great beer for summertime. So go to morebeer.com forward slash free beer Friday to enter the weekly giveaway to win this Australian sparkling ale, Simon's Galaxies. All right, well now for this week's tech talk, we've got, uh, last week you probably saw us talk, uh, setting up the Firmzilla, installing the temp tester coil and talking about all the cool accessories for it. But now we're gonna hook it up to glycol and show you, you know, how to hook it up to glycol, what is a glycol system, how you run all that. So check it out. All right, Vito, we've got the Firmzilla set up with the temp twister in there. Now we're gonna use my glycol chiller. Ice Master 2. Let's go over the basics of glycol chilling. Let's talk about glycol. Why would we use glycol? Well, the main reason we use glycol is to get below the freezing point. As everybody knows, water freezes at 32 degrees. So if we set this at 27, we'd have ice in there. And basically it's like antifreeze, but this is a uh, food grade. So it's, uh, it allows you to go below the freezing point. So it allows water to go below the freezing point. Um, so we're gonna use about a 30% concentration, uh, th uh, 30 and 70% water, uh, allow us to set it at 27 degrees and um, run the pumps that'll cool through here. Uh, and chill the wort internally uh, rather than exterior like in a fridge or something like that. The other reason we would do it is we're going to put it in an environment where things aren't going to grow. Um, and so that way you're not forming molds and bacteria and get brackish in here over time. And you can do it with just water, but you would have to change it out frequently. And as you'll see when we do a top view, it's not wide open, easy to ex access. Um, so we find using glycol not that expensive and it lasts for years. Most of the time you're just adding a little bit more to keep up with uh, either evaporation or condensation. All right, so let's walk through the Ice Master 2. Pretty simple, on the back is a temp controller and that's gonna control the temperature of the bath itself. And like Vito said, we can go below freezing if we want to. And then in the front, you have two different temp controllers and you have an out and an in for each one and obviously a temp sensor. So this temp sensor, Vito is just going to show right where we would be using it in this. And then we'll dial in that temp. So it's literally that easy. We just set the temp of our bath and then each one of these we can set individually and they both control their own pump that's gonna send the liquid through. So now let's set it up, how we're gonna use it in a few days. So from the out, we have to choose which side of the coil. Vito, which side would you go on? Right here. <laughs> All right, so you're the type who likes to go down and around, mm -hmm. where I've always wondered if you go to the bottom and work your way up. It's always a question mark. That makes sense too, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I would get that cooling, so it, you know, hitting it and spending as much time in there as it can. The real reality is I don't think it matters. It matters, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then we'll have one more line come from the other side, back in and completing the loop. So boom, now we complete the loop. And so we just have a closed loop. The final thing we would do is add hose clamps to each one of these just to prevent leaking of each one. Now this glycol is food grade. So if a little bit does get down into your beer, it's not gonna kill you, but it's not ideal.
All right, that's it for this week. Thanks everybody for tuning in to this special Friday the 13th edition of Free Beer Friday. As always, go to morebeer.com forward slash free beer Friday to enter our monthly giveaway. This month we're giving away two prizes. First place is a Firmzilla uh, with the pressure pack and all the accessories. Then we're also giving away a second place prize which is a Firmzilla all rounder. So enter, get your chance to win that and go Warriors, woo! Thanks for watching, see you next Friday. Cheers.